So this is the Garmin uh, Drive Smart 66, everybody. Um, this has got Alexa built in. Um, this is six inch screen. Pretty much, uh, it's your standard GPS. It's got Bluetooth, which is great. Which it, all of them have Bluetooth, but this one actually has Bluetooth that will go to your radio. So if you're using directions it's actually going to send the bluetooth message it's going to come through all your speakers a lot better but let's let's see what it'll do let's just go to the map here um alexa weather right now in bishopville it's 89 degrees fahrenheit with cloudy skies today's forecast has clouds with a chance of showers with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 74 degrees I'll be honest, I thought a, a screen was going to come out. Let's try this again. Alexa, weather? Currently, in Bishopville, okay, it's 89 degrees Fahrenheit with cloudy skies. Today, you can expect clouds with so, a chance of showers more visual. with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 74 degrees. It's really pretty decent. Let's get out of that. Let's see what else we can do. Um, Alexa... Play Country Heat Radio. Okay. The state... There we go. So it's up. Um, so if we want to just see that kind of stuff, we could be looking at the map, right? Hit this. And it says Music Player, right? So we could click that. It's coming up on the side. If you just wanted the whole thing to show that, you just click it. And then the whole thing's there. You can actually like music, not like music, skip with this. So it's all Bluetooth, which is super different. Now, your controls also will work. So we're clicking and we're moving it. So it's actually basically a media player and I'm going to pause this before something goes wrong and YouTube decides they want to block this. So let's get back out of this. So there we go. We've got it over there if we wanted to. We could change it. We could do everything. And we've also got our map. So if we're getting directions, we said, hey, Alexa, we want to go to, let's try it. Alexa, directions to Charlotte, North Carolina. Starting route with Garmin. So there we go. He's calculating. You know, he's going to get Getting us directions to Charlotte, North Carolina. Coming through the Bluetooth. So there we go. So everything's coming up over here, saying how we're going to do it. And let's Please go drive to right highlighted right. route. So it's giving us all the directions. Can I scroll? Well, you tap it and then you can see it all. You just wanted to run through it but as you drive of course it's going to tell you uh, where you are if you're playing music it's going to come over the music of course you've got to be in bluetooth let's not forget it's got to be in bluetooth if you're listening to fm radio and you're trying to do this it's not going to work you're going to have to be in the bluetooth mode uh in order for this to work so that's pretty much the garmin um a lot of people ask how I mounted this to the windshield. It's, it's actually pretty doggone simple. Um, I just used three bolts. There's a one-inch ball on the other side of the shield. It's got an arm, a one-inch arm, basically. And there's a ball actually on the back of this cheap Chinese-made GPS holder. So that's what does it. I could actually loosen it up. I could turn it. I can do all sorts of stuff. But that's also basically weatherproof because it's it's uh inside there's a plastic cover on the front um so everything you know is pretty pretty much good um but of course you could say alexa weather which we already right now did, in bishopville right? it's 89 degrees earlier. fahrenheit with cloudy skies today's um, forecast has clouds with a chance of showers with a high of 89 degrees and a low of 74 out. degrees and then if we wanted to do something else with this, OK Garmin. 
you say okay Garmin and there's a list of things that it'll do what can you do I have no idea if that'll do something guess not well hold on here it goes what can you do cannot find search results <laughs> okay well anyway it used to be that when you said okay Garmin on my last unit it would give a list of things where to um, different things that it would actually do so let's go to um, let's go to view map let's close this let's hit this button so there's music player cities ahead if you want to do that you can always mute your navigation um, up ahead don't ask me traffic if you had a lot of traffic it's gonna come up it's gonna pop up for you um, back to the map close Okay, let's go down. You, of course, got your phone. You got your trip data. Weather, which is another great feature for this, is this. View the rate. Well, I'm in the wrong spot. This right here. So you've got an extended, basically, outlook for two or three hours. You click View Radar, and it actually gives you a pretty much a live radar of where the rain is, as you can see. So if I zoom in... You can zoom in some. It takes it a minute, but the more you get in there, the closer you're going to see where the rain is. So if I'm driving down the road, it's going to keep an accurate tab of the rain, and it's going to keep an accurate tab of where I am in relation at the present time. So I'll know if I'm going to hit rain, um, if I need to slow down, you know, anything. Um, it's a good feature. I kind of like that. Um, of course, where to? Let's do that. Where to? This that that home screen that was just there is a little bit different than uh, some of the other GPSs, but it's about the same thing. But it's just a little bit different. It makes it a little easier to navigate through this thing, to be honest. So if you wanted to put in your home address, you just click go home. Um, you can save some addresses. Uh, history stuffs down here, national parks, um, fuel prices. So we could click that right now. Around here, fuel's a little bit more expensive than other places. You can knock about 20 cents off of each of those if you'll go to uh, the next city over. But it pretty much lists, 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 because lists is ain't a word. Pretty much lists uh, live fuel prices. Um, history. So if you just want to park, museum, whatever, you could choose. But let's just hit all categories. And so there's some history things that are kind of close to us. A lot of battles and uh, different things. Civil War type stuff. Um, back one more. National parks. So we actually have a national park near us. Don't ask me why it's a national park, but it is. It's Congaree National Park. There's nothing there. So there's the Great Smokies. They're about 208 miles from me. Uh, Shenandoah in Virginia. Mammoth uh, Valley National. Biscayne Everglades National Park. Uh, Hot Springs. Uh, Badlands. So we'll keep rolling right on. They're pretty much all listed. And it's pretty much by distance. I'm, I'm guessing you could change that if you wanted to, but it's pretty much by distance. So say for a second you want to go to Pinnacles in California, you'd hit go and calculating and should come up with a route to get you all the way to California. 41%, 48%, 52%. <clears throat> So this is a Garmin, I don't even know if I've told you which Garmin it is, it's a 66, a DriveSmart 66. Um, this is not the EX, <coughs> this is just a standard DriveSmart 66. The EX, from what I understand, is something that was sold by Please Walmart drive to highlighted route. and other big box stores. They just had an EX to it. I don't know if that means that um, they took something away from it or 
if that means it's cheaper. I have no idea. Um, sure. So gas stations, restaurants, up ahead, you got uh, things you can add here. But I don't know if they added anything to the EX version to, to make it cheaper, is what I'm guessing might have happened. But I've, I've never read that. That's just me thinking out loud. This is actually a refurbished unit right here um i bought it from ebay uh gps city out of las vegas nevada is the seller and ebay actually throws in a two-year warranty which i have no idea how good the warranty is but it's supposed to you notice how that came in it is supposed to um, take care of anything that goes wrong with it for two years, which is pretty decent. I paid 120, I believe, for it, somewhere around the 120 range, uh, for it uh, in the um, renewed condition, and that included the warranty because it's it's free with eBay. So it came working very well i've had no trouble with it yet it's of course early it's been on here for two days i've driven uh probably 200 miles with it um so it's 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 pretty new we're gonna stop that and here's what okay garmin can do um addresses nearby places uh, places near route, if y'all would say that, plus find gas stations along my route, then it would it would highlight them. Um, say that, go to Seattle, it would do it. Say the name of the place you're saved. So if you've got some saved places, you can do that. Um, place a call. So if you say the keywords and call John Smith as they say it'll do it so between Alexa and OK that I guess OK is all you have to Oklahoma say Oklahoma is a state in the south central region of the United States Never mind, I bordered said Alexa by the state first. of Texas on the south and west so we're learning about Oklahoma so between the two um, you have a definite basically a car navigation system that I'd imagine does 80% of what a car navigation does, maybe 100%. No, sp no RPM gauge or, or, or any other controls in this, but it will track your speed. It'll give you the elevation. Um, you know how to do it all. Um, but a lot of you know I've, I've had a Garmin 71. I've still got it. That's a 7-inch screen. I've got a Garmin 55, which was right before this one. And that was a five and a half inch screen. Neither of those come with the Bluetooth to your radio capability. If you try to do it, it's going to say um, this does not support. In my case, it was a Kenwood X704 at the time. Um, I got an X705 now. It still wouldn't support it. So I don't know why it keeps coming on. But this, if it, if it says Alexa... If you get the, they come in this 66, which is the 6 inch, you've got a 70, don't quote me, I think it's a 76, which is the 7 inch, and I think there's actually an 8 inch, I think, I can't remember which one, but there's three different models for the Alexa, uh, and that is the key. You just, if you want the Bluetooth, which you want the Bluetooth. Uh, so it'll play through your speakers. If you don't have the Bluetooth, what's going to happen is you're going to get the GPS. It'll do everything that we just went through. But if you're on the motorcycle, you're riding down the road, you are not going to hear what it's saying. You'll be able to see what it's saying, but you are not going to be able to hear what it is saying. Um, so last thing, I'm going to let y'all go. Um, you know, we t it was playing a lot of music just through the A-M-A-Z-O-N, I'm not going to say the word yet, but it will do other things. So if we say, 
Amazon. I mean, not Amazon. Don't say Amazon. That's not it. Alexa. <laughs> Play I Heart Radio Country. I Heart Country from I Heart Radio. So you say something like that, it's going to go to I Heart Radio. Okay? So it'll do that as well. I don't know if it'll do other ones. If I wanted to do... Um, dang, what's the other music app I used to listen to all the time? iTunes? Not iTunes. Tune in. Let's see if it'll do tune in. Alexa, play tune in radio. What radio station would you like to hear? 97.5. WAO 97.5 from tune in. I guess it works. That's a big time shot. There you go. So that's not the 97.5 I was thinking about, but hey, it, it actually did it which is strange alexa tune in radio tony evans Just i cannot play that on tune in okay she can't do that so anyway it, it, tune in uh, alexa alexa Ooh. tune in radio country music let's just see what i, I cannot play that on tune in Okay, so not sure what the magical word is on TuneIn, but there is a magical word, as you just heard. Okay, anyway, we've been together for 10 minutes, and I know y'all are very tired of hearing my voice. So uh, that's all I got. Uh, remember, hey, I can use all the support I can get. www.metricoil.com, Amsoil, um, great motor oil, great uh, fork oil, um radiator coolant if you want to change your coolant um you know it's going to be a hundred thousand mile radiator change um, your oil changes double your manufacturer's recommendation uh final gear oil if your bike needs it come see us metricoil.com definitely definitely appreciate it if you like the video you know i usually don't say these things um subscribe i'd appreciate it um I'll try to put some other things together. I know sometimes I can be a boring person, but uh, I do try to show y'all what I can. But uh, y'all have a great day. That's all I got, and I guess I'll see y'all on the next one.